Welcome to this month's Flying Razorback Report. I'm Tech Sergeant Chauncey Reed. In this month's edition, Shoot, Move, and Communicate with Security Forces, Airmen Celebrate Veterans Day, Threat Training at Razorback Range, Airmen of the Quarter and Year are recognized, and we spotlight one lucky airman. Right now, First Sergeant Frank Petre shares the value in being a First Sergeant. I am a First Sergeant and people are my business. As a first sergeant, I am responsible for the health, welfare, and morale of the unit, and I advise the commander on all enlisted issues. The most important thing about being a first sergeant, in my opinion, is to care about people. How are you doing? Thank you. Throughout my career, I've seen airmen struggling in different categories, and I've seen first sergeants step in to help mentor and guide these young airmen. After seeing this for several years, that's how I decided I wanted to become a first sergeant so I could help these young airmen hopefully provide a positive image and an avenue to become successful. Here at the 188, we are looking for tech sergeants and above to step up to become first sergeants. If you are interested in starting an exciting new chapter in your career, please contact Command Chief Master Sergeant Stephen Bradley. The Veterans Day Parade is a great way for 188th members to honor vets in our community. Senior Airman Cody Martin tells us how some airmen get their families involved. Veterans Day is a time to honor those who have served. This year, the 188th does this while involving family members and building a float for the Veterans Day Parade. You know, I give them the opportunity to um, express themselves. And when asked them, I said, what do you think about our base? And they keep saying we've gone global. Hi, buddy. <laughs> so it was our opportunity to kind of show Fort Smith and the surrounding areas that, yes, we are still very involved in the community. And we want to thank them for their support that they give us as well. The parade at Chaffee Crossing gives the 188th an opportunity to participate in a local event while showing appreciation for the community's support. I'm Senior Airman Cody Martin. Realistic training often contributes to success. Senior Airman Matthew Matlock shows us how security forces use it to develop their skill. Communication is key for any team to succeed, and the theme is no different for these 188 Security Forces members. This is Shoot, Move, Communicate. These individuals are learning to work as a group to move in on and disable an enemy force. This exercise is also used to condition for the psychological effects of combat. Uh, we use sim munitions out there. It's basically a uh, plastic projectile with almost what you could consider a paintball type tip. It's a little more painful. Uh, we really stress out there with that. No matter how many times they get shot, they keep moving on to complete their mission. And psychologically, they would keep fighting to win. The training took place at Carnes Village at Fort Chaffee and Fort Smith. The facility provides defenders a rare opportunity to train for various scenarios in a realistic environment. I'm Senior Airman Matthew Matlock. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Stevens. I'm the 2016 CFC coordinator for the 188th Wing. CFC is the time of year to give back to local, national, or international charities. This year our goal is $15,000. We are currently almost at the 50% mark and need your help to get to 100. The deadline to donate is December 15th. There are multiple ways to donate and if you're interested in donating, please contact your unit CFC rep or myself. Thank you. The 188's own Razorback range is an air-to-ground gun and bomb range. And we recently had a chance to speak with Master Sergeant Rob Ellis during threat training with C-17s. Whether you're a CAS aircraft or you're an airlift aircraft, we can uh, replicate threats for any aircraft. For our CAS aircraft, whenever they come, we have the ability to throw in a, 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 real, a real threat that they, that they have to defeat. And, and the same goes with, with airlift. When they would get into a certain area, we would light them up with the mass system. It would give them an uh, audible indicator in their cockpit that they were being locked on. And at that point, we would launch a Smoky Sam, and that would give them the visual indicator. And at that time, then they conduct their, their maneuvers for whatever TTP that was to defeat that threat. Razorback Range has a, a wide array of, of options for you to come and train to. And now, a message from Chaplain Smith. Hello, this is uh, Chaplain Smith again, the uh, Joint Force Headquarters Chaplain for the Arkansas National Guard and also full-time chaplain here at the 188th. And our thought for today is, is that did you realize uh, that today is like a, a blank check? 
God has given you 24 hours, and he's just going to see how you're going to invest it. So don't squander it. Don't try to save it, because after 24 hours, today will be gone. Live today for the glory of God and use it to invest in the lives of others and out of work. God bless you. If you have airmen in your area that outperform the rest, you may consider nominating them for Outstanding Airmen of the Quarter. Senior Airman Matthew Matlock explains the importance of the program. The Outstanding Airman of the Year and Airman of the Quarter program is a professional development tool that promotes innovative and highly skilled airmen by recognizing individuals who excel in their career fields. It's truly a great honor to be recognized by your peers and your supervisors for all the hard work that you've done throughout the year. I think that any time that you're, you're able to be recognized for that kind of work, it just motivates you to do more, and it, and it really is a great feeling to, to, to receive that honor. Major Allen was selected as the field grade officer of the year. The enlisted category winners will go on to compete at the state level in January. I'm Senior Airman Matthew Matlock. That brings us to this month's Spotlight. I am Airman First Class Sage Coleman. My job here at the 188th is a munition system specialist. So on a day-to-day, -day, I get inventories for periodic inspections, and a lot of CAS work on the computer. I've been at the 188th for two years. What I like best about the 188th is it's a tight-knit community. Everybody gets along very well. So it's definitely a family environment. The best day of my life would probably be the day I miss it. Not in like a cliche way, but it was like definitely a step forward. <laughs> Listening was definitely one of the best things I ever did. I'm happy to be a proud member of the 188th. That's all for this month's Flying Razorback Report. Check us out on our social media platforms, and we'll see you next month.